know, get ready to go right. serve this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tuan is here. Ladescent here. We have the amazing Pat Rihanna Sharp is here. Right there in the front. You know, yeah. It's about to go down. I hope you guys are ready. Get ready. This is about to be a no ordinary sanction, sanctuary, experience, encounter. Prepare your hearts, prepare your minds. I'm already fooled, I can start crying. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Tonight we sing the word of God and sing what God is saying. Come on, let's go. thing first of all I gotta thank y'all for coming out tonight I, I'm just I'm already here so I don't want to come too much down and talk to y'all but thank you for coming out tonight there is something strategic that's about to happen in your life that's beyond you thinking you're gonna get a good high tonight for real for real I grew up in church I know church I can do it in my sleep I know church we can go right now I, I, we know church but what God is doing is he's looking for people who are tired of craving the counterfeit and being hungry for the authentic. We don't crave a good bit of stuff. Those musicians can hit two, three chords and we, ah, ah, and you're there. But what happens is you've learned the mechanics and you leave lacking methods to know how to go after the things of God. That's beyond an experience. That's beyond, watch this, adrenaline. And good God Almighty, that's beyond sweat. Huh! How many of us didn't sweat in church and left the same way we came? 
left, went to get something to eat, went home, went to sleep, and could care less about what happened the night before because there was no hunger. I believe tonight God is going to deal with your hunger your hunger for more your hunger to think that where you are is just it i need to tell somebody your next six months is about to platform you for what god's about to do in the next six years okay you didn't hear what i just said i believe your next six months is about to platform you for what God's about to do in the next six years. Now, if you believe it, I dare you to open up your mouth and put some expectancy behind what just came out of my mouth. You don't believe it, leave it alone. But if you've been expecting some stuff, job, school, career, money, finance, faith, fitness, future, family, it's ready to platform the clock tonight if I had time I'll deal with your expectation but what's getting ready to happen it's about to be crazy it will not make sense it will not make sense it will not make sense I've never seen anything like this that's about to be your testimony I've never seen anything like this my mama that good God almighty gave up before she saw it my daddy threw in the towel before he saw it my friends don't believe it can happen but i believe god that something's getting ready to happen that eyes have not seen ears have not heard no has it entered into the hearts of man favor there is something tonight several times several times several times you're going to hear to tell your neighbor or somebody something is not to make us look good or sound good there is power in confession do me a favor don't even look at your neighbor look at somebody behind you if you're on the last row just look at them look at somebody behind you some of y'all you're, you're just so deep you sitting looking there you go say hey how you doing now prophesy to them and say, neighbor, that's behind me. I know you're behind me, but the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Tell them, I'm not jealous for what you're about to walk into. Because if God does it for you, that means he's in my neighborhood. And I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. I need to see an unselfish worshiper. Give God glory for what your neighbor is getting ready to walk in, 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 you're getting ready to see, eyes haven't seen, and ears haven't heard, what the Lord's about to do, what the eyes haven't seen, sir. Say ears haven't heard, sir. Ears haven't heard. Say what the Lord's about to do. What the Lord's about to do. Say what the Lord's about to do. What the Lord's about to do. Say eyes haven't seen, sir. Eyes haven't seen. Hey, and ears haven't heard. Ears haven't heard. What the Lord's about to do. 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 We gon' write songs. Eyes haven't seen, sir.
in Mark chapter 2, the Bible says that there's a paralytic. He's on a stretcher. There's four men that make the conscious decision that we don't want to see our friend like this. I don't know who you're around tonight, but your friend, your homeboy, your homegirl cannot afford for you to be silent. There's no silent people that should be in your circle. I'm looking at some of y'all, your mouth closed. The Bible says four guys has a friend who's paralyzed. He cannot move. I need to prophesy to somebody what's about to be tested in your life. Good God Almighty is the level of your circumference of friends. God's about to see, are you intentional about making sure that you don't let your friends settle for nothing but God's best for their life? The Bible says that while they're carrying their friend to a house, the house is crowded. They cannot get into the house. Jesus is in the house. Crowded. Jesus is in the house. Four guys make the conversation a decision we got to make sure that we're loyal we're creative we're inventive we got to make sure we crawl up the stairways the Bible says when they got there they couldn't get in so they uncovered started digging in the roof they dug in the roof and the Bible says they dropped the friend in the midst of Jesus good God Almighty they dropped the friend in the midst of Jesus Jesus does not be he watches he does not say anything until he he sees the faith of the friends I gotta bust your bubble you're trying to figure out why haven't I seen what God said because you're expecting God to do something in your life and it's not conducive off of the circle you're in because if he drop it based off of who you're connected to your appreciation might go down but God's got to test the very people that are closest to you to see are you interested in the ability of the mobility of your friend look at somebody tell no child left behind no no child no child no child left behind 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 I know you've been sick I know you've been frustrated. I know you've been upset. I know you've been stuck. But that doesn't mean you're still. He was paralyzed. But somehow the paralyzed man experienced mobility. Good God Almighty. I got a word for you. I know there's an area of your life that's been paralyzed. But isn't it funny? He was still paralyzed and experienced mobility. Drop him. Mr. Jesus, he sees the faith of the friends. The Bible says, he tells the man, rise, take up your bed. The man that gets up, don't you miss this, and walk out of the house. I got a question. If the house was crowded and he couldn't get in, how did he walk out? You don't realize God's about to make a supernatural way for you that's about to amaze the very people that saw you come in. You might not believe the word of the Lord, but in every aspect of your life, good God prophesy out of somebody and tell them a way is about to be made. A way, I don't know what way you need to be made, but a way is about to be. Because eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard what the Lord's about to do. walk out of the house this is not the part that got me pastor sharp this the part that got me was it said it says the people saw what had happened and they were amazed don't you miss this and they glorified god and the text says they said we never seen anything like I'm talking to a creative, you got tired, your gift has been stuck. 
it's been utilized but you've been stuck I'm talking to a prophet tonight you've been utilized but you've been I'm talking to a worship leader you've been sinking but you've been stuck I'm talking to a mother you've been mothering nurturing but you've been stuck talk to a father you've been doing your best but you've been stuck but God's about to make a way where your eyes cannot fathom your imagination cannot conjure up what's about to happen to the very people that are closest to you and the very doubters are about to say we never seen anything like the it didn't say the paralyzed man said it it said the people said it we knew how he came in but we didn't know he would walk out of like that there's some people in this room some people know where you are they know how you got there but they're about to be amazed once December 31st here your next six months is about to catapult you into levels into dimensions you've never been to I need somebody to open up your mouth and give them a shout of expectation okay eyes haven't seen sight What the Lord's about to do. What the Lord's about to do. This is why he keeps saying that you gotta prophetically. Declaration to do. builds faith. Eyes haven't seen. Eyes haven't seen. And he is having heard. He is having heard. What the Lord's about to do. 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 Lift your voice right there where you are and said, I believe God. I believe you, I believe you. I believe you, I believe it. 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 I believe you, I believe you. I believe in what you said. I believe that you are God. I believe that you exist. I believe you ever live. I believe that you died and I believe that you rose I believe that you heal I believe that you deliver I believe I believe I believe I believe in your word I believe in your lordship I believe that you're my redeemer Down. 
open your to God to let me die. You're too faithful to fail me. You're too consistent to let me down. You always guard. You'll always be around. And you're too gone to, to let me die. You're too, too gone to, to let me die. You're too faithful to fail. You're too consistent to let me down. You're too. To heal and leave me where I am, you're to deliver and leave me stuck. You're to Jehovah, you're to Yeshua, you're to Rafa, you're to God to let me down. You're to God to let me down. I need to hear somebody that it's you got to let you down no oh, uh, yeah you are right for you are Yahweh you're too kind to let me down yeah and I will always I will always I'll always I'll always I'll always hold on I'll always believe I'll always stay in the fight Oh, I heard that. Where you are, you needed to hear that. That he's too God to let you down. He's too faithful to fail you. He's too consistent to let you down. What makes you think that God won't come through? What is done for others, he'll do the same thing for you. He is God. He is God. He is God. Reminds me of home. So I remember when I was on training wheels of worship. So I grew up traditional. But it was like a season of my life, like, bruh, like maybe around that's like uh, eight, nine years old. My mother was stationed in Kuwait. Uh, she was in the army and she would sit music back home to my grandmother. So every now and then, you know, we didn't, I grew up in church. It was a long season where I really didn't grow up in church. But we heard music in the house that my grandmother would play. Mom came home, of course, thank God, in 05. And she was, uh, so yeah, I was actually six, six. And uh, she, I would hear this music. So from the church I was raised up in, it kind of transitioned from seven, eight, nine, ten, 
where I learned contemporary worship. So this moment about me, like moments like this, I remember being a child, I would hear on y'all remember wild gospels. Wow, gospel. Pastor Diddy had wow, God. They don't do this so much. And I, and I remember, wow. I remember I would hear stuff like, like you know, Fred Hammonds and the Israel Holtz and all these things and just all kinds of stuff like, uh, um, uh, this is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your very word. What key we in? living in me and I would hear and I, I, I. what did he say y'all I would hear these songs I grew up church but these things started to hook on me I would say whoa and I, I. as a kid I would feel the presence of God I'm like what is this I'm lost with I would cry. I didn't know I was crying. I did not know I was crying. I was like, and I, and I, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. You are the air that I breathe, the song that I sing, and I. Understand the presence of God. I got a training wheels in worship. They don't sing these no more. You are holy. Before we had Maverick, I love it, but you are holy. But we understood what CCM maybe was. Oh, so holy. Before right here, one a privilege. And in, let's go back, y'all. Say, to worship. To be called, to be called, to be a place as a whole. Yeah, you are home, you are home. Oh, so holy. You are holy. When my worshippers say, Oh, so holy. If you know he's holy, just wave your hand and say, What a privilege, what a privilege. I said, 
church which in my great uncle's church there was holiness 
but I called them choir quartet. Emma, Lord. Because uh, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves on pain, misery and strife. Promise to keep me, never to leave me. Whoa. Say church, keep. Come on, y'all. We want big praise here. I come too far. Wanna try that? Say God. Drop it and say, God is God. Is. God is. I feel church now. God is God is so glad he is. for worship but it's because I had foundation from there to pass me not on to to save my humble cry while on others now I'm calling do not pass me the greatest thy faithfulness greatest thy faithfulness my hope is built on nothing less and Jesus blood and the righteousness turn to page I dare not trust the sweetest rain but holyly on Jesus name singing on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground he is sinking sand all of the ground he So give me appreciate. I would take them home how we do it where I'm from. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? CJ, give me that track, man. The track that might take us crazy. Just I'm gonna show you how we do it in the low country of South Carolina. We we don't do it like him no. Give me that tambourine clap, CJ. It like it's real kind of cool. We will say, my hope. Is built on that Gina. Oh, y'all don't know your hymns. I got you. And right. Y'all know that? Yeah. I dare. <laughs> Memory set. But holy lean on Jesus. Singing on. Sinking sand Oh, all of the ground Let's go, fellas He is sinking Everybody clap your hands We gotta go
Everybody clap your hands Oh, oh, oh I think you dream
Give the God this hand. You said yeah. 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 They pronounce you dead. You said yeah. You said not yet. You said yeah. Devil, devil said no. Shut the devil, devil said no. But I'm so the devil said no. The devil, the devil said no. The devil, the devil said no. You say it, 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 you say you say it, you say it, you say it, you say you say it, you Only to you said it, yeah. but my answer will be yeah. My answer will be yeah. My answer will be one more. I will say yes, Lord, Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. Say, check, check. I'll say.
with you and we magnify your name that's why our hearts take my heart and more take my mind hey, transform take my will conform hey, to yours yours and only yours Whoa. as a sacrifice on the altar tonight you put away everything else you're trying to give God everything else that was convenient God said I'm calling for more in this season you got to put more on the sacrifice on the altar come on open up your mouth and release something hey come on come on come on come on come on come on you've been in the outer court long enough I need you to press in further there's more for you to get tonight that's more than a good run. That's more than a good sound. That under my say, push people of God. Come on here, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, come on, Zion. Come on, come on. I dare you to close your eyes, lift your hands as far as you want God to take you. Open up your mouth and press. Come on, come on, come on. Your neighbor can't do this for you. Press. I said nothing to Prophetess Ladessa, but the moment she walked in the door, the moment she walked in the door, she said, the amount of brokenness that's in the kingdom of God is unparalleled. Glory to God. It's unparalleled. We've seen, we've never seen something to this degree, but the Lord took me to number 17. The Bible declares that, 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 that Abram was attempting to lead the people of God. And it says that they came against him because they wanted proof that God called him. Woo! Glory to God. They wanted proof that God called him. Y'all listen to me. But the Bible declares that God gave him instructions. He said, I want you to get an ancestral staff from every tribe and put it in the tent of meetings. Glory to God. In the Bible declares, I, I, the first thing I asked Kalante was, God, why was it an ancestral staff? He said, because this brokenness leads back to further generations than the people that's just in this room. Some of you, your grandma was broke. Some of you, your aunties and uncles, it's passed down to your generation from the... Hey, 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 generation to generation. This thing didn't just appear in your life. Some of this stuff has been passed down through your generations and through your bloodline and through your heritage. But God said, bring me that that's 
seems impossible. Pray me what seems impossible. Go get that ancestral staff that don't nobody want to deal with that has been broken, that has been tried out for a long time. Wait. Wait. Because nobody's going to be able to get the glory for this but God. Hey, glory to God. Bible says, y'all, they took those staffs. Then he said, don't only, hallelujah, glory to God, help me here. Don't only take the staff, but I want you to write the tribe or write the name on the staff, which means that they took ownership. It took a certain level of being vulnerable and real about what it is that they had. Glory to God. You do understand that there is power in your signature. I can put my signature on a check of a million dollars and it means nothing. But a Bill Gates put his signature on it. You can take it to the bank. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, when you get home tonight, I want you to start putting your name on the everything around you. Because God's getting ready to provide proof that he's been with you the whole time. Fear not for I am with you. Shut down the higher. Wait, 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 because that ain't it. The whole oh, glory to God. Wait. The Bible declares Enrique that they took the staffs, put them in the tent of meetings. And the Bible says they came back, they left it there overnight. Came back in the morning. Some of us, we've been in pain and we've been crying because it seems like God has left us in the dark. We've been trying to figure out, I've been seeing everybody else around me seem like they've been in the light, seem like they've been growing, seem like they've been prospering, seem like they've been functioning and moving, but God left me in the dark. But I came to talk, prophesy to about 15 people and tell you that things grow in the dark. Dry your tears, baby. God has been preparing you in the darkness. Don't you know that I've been working on you? I've been working on your behalf. Dry your tears. I ain't left you yet. You've been growling. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. The Bible. Oh, because I. I Yes, I'm so mad that you I'm so mad but I'm so glad that you said it because it, we didn't talk God said this sometimes you need confirmation that God spoke what he spoke this is the reason why I know you didn't walk into this room by accident tonight I know some of y'all came to hear a nice run and a nice chord, but God came to meet you here with the deliverance of the breakthrough that you've been wondering about you didn't even know you needed this breakthrough you, you just ran into your miracle and didn't even know. As a matter of fact, I ain't even got to finish this revelation. I dare you to use the faith on the inside of you. And I need you to tap into the breakthrough that God already predestined for you. I shake. Come on. Don't you hold your tongue. Your miracle you've been waiting on is waiting for you. Open up your mouth, Zion. Go get your miracle. Son of a head. Shut it to me, hey, go get it. Come on, that's the last thing. Y'all listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Last. The Bible says, the Bible says that when they came back in the morning, that that branch that has been disconnected for several generations begin to blood and bloom and bring forth almonds Lord help me hear Holy Ghost now you do know that there's some trees that's been living for a lot longer that never produce almonds but God said when I bring you out of the darkness you're going to accomplish in a matter of days what it took people several years and months to accomplish take away your fear take I'm coming out. Stop. I'm coming out. 
take away your fear and move by faith because everything you've been praying for everything you've been looking for everything you've been asking God to do you just ran into it I dare you to lift your hands and go get your miracle you're on the threshold uh -huh. come on come on come on come on don't you stop right there your family need them almonds your friend needs those almonds your neighborhood needs those almonds open your mouth son Push! Push! It's always darkest just before the break of day. Push, I I feel a welling in my belly. Are there any men wives in the room? Somebody put your hand on your belly and wow! There it is. There it is. Put your hand on your belly. Every midwife, open up your mouth. There's a... There is no birthing without a breaking. Open up your mouth and push. Break for aware that everybody can't do this thing by themselves so the thing about a midwife is I stand and I help you give birth place that God watch this so that what wants to kill what you're giving birth to that thing won't be sabotaged that's what the job of a midwife is I'm trying to help stop what the enemy wants you to abort I'm, I'm going to say that again. What the enemy wants you to abort. What the enemy wants to kill. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody in this room, I need you to grab the hand of a neighbor. Because we're already here. See, I can't get to the next destination until what's been on me gets off of me. I'm going to say it again. Because we're so used to moving on that we never get to the point of moving forward. But tonight the Lord says, because you came in this house tonight, what's been trying to break you? What's been trying to destroy you? What's been trying to cripple you? That hand that you're holding with, they open up their mouths this time. What's getting ready to flow in this room? They getting ready to break what's been trying to break you. They getting ready to break what's been trying to break you. So on the count of three, when you lift your voice, I want you to tap into the level of the spirit and open your mouth and shout on behalf of your neighbor. One, two, three, lift your voice. You got to squeeze that hand in this room. I said, what's been trying to destroy you? What's been trying to break you? I'm going after it tonight. I said, I'm going after it tonight. Squeeze that hand and hold that hand. You've been going through some real stuff. I said, you've been going through some real stuff. I need you to be intentional and open your mouth and shout in the room. You thought you was going to give up. You thought you was going to go in the town. But tonight the Lord says, because you came in this house, I'm sending a fresh wind to yours. Now let that hand go and get those hands lifted all over this room. And open your mouth and fill this room with a sound of freedom. Come on in here tonight. We didn't just come to sing, but I came to be made free. Because whom the Son sets free, it's free indeed. Lift your voice in this room. Lift your voice in this room. Lift your voice in the room. Come on, I come to see him. I said, I came to see him. I came to see him. And I ain't leaving this place 
to what's been on me falls off of me. Lift your voice in the room tight. Listen. Listen. Simon is very clear tonight. We're still not all the way into the night, but this is what I want to do. Because I believe that in order for me to really get everything that God wants me to have, I got to be willing to let go of something. I'm going to say it again. In order for me to get what God really wants me to have, I got to be willing to let go of something. So tonight, watch this. I don't care if y'all got to move these chairs. But if you're saying tonight, I need to make an exchange. Watch this, listen. If you're saying tonight, I need to make the exchange. Because what I've been holding on to, it's been suffocating me. What I've been holding on to, it is literally trying to kill me. And even though I'm aware of it, somehow my hands just won't let it go. But tonight, I'm saying I need to make this exchange. If that's you tonight, I dare you to just get to this altar right here. Watch this. If you're coming to the altar, you're saying you need an exchange. You just can't come to the altar with your mouth closed. But you got to come with your hands lifted. There's an exchange getting ready to be made. Watch this. And for the rest of your days, your life will never be the same. Now listen to me before I do this next thing. Don't let people fool you and think it's just going to be easy that when you leave here, that that's the end of the story. No, 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 no. Because see, you got work to do. Listen to me, people of God. You got work to do. And watch this. Prayer is not the only answer. See, I'm coming to help you tonight. Prayer is not the only answer. Faith without what? Faith without what? Faith without the works is dead. There's some work you got to put into so that what you're saying that's coming out of your spirit actually comes into full manifestation. I ain't just talking about man, full manifestation. And some of y'all are at this altar. You ain't just here for you, but you here for your whole entire family. Because you are the deliverer for your family. So watch this. I'm getting ready to pass this mic. And while you're at this altar, I want you to lift your hands. And for those of you that are sitting out there, matter of fact, can we do, I know this is uncommon, but do me a favor. If you're not at the altar, just listen. Be, just, just listen. Can you shift backwards if you don't mind? If you can, just shift backwards. You ain't got to move your stuff. Just shift backwards. Because I want everybody that wants to be at this altar to have a chance. Come on, y'all. Y'all get around here right here. Come on, man of God. Get around here. There it is. Y'all come on. Move down this way. Move down this way. Move down this way. Because see, we don't go after. We don't do stuff like this at pop-up worships and things. We don't do this stuff like this no more. But I can't worship him in spirit and in truth and stay bound at the same time. It don't work. Somebody missed it. I'm going to say it again. I can't worship him in spirit and in truth and stay bound at the same time. It does not work because it's a decision you got to make. It's a decision. So while those hands are lifted, everybody in the room, lift your hands. And when you open your mouth this time, listen to me, when you open your mouth this time, I know your family needs something. I get it. But this one is for you. That when you leave this place, that spirit of depression, when you leave this place, that spirit of oppression, when you leave this place, those thoughts of suicide and inadequacies and insecurities when you leave this place that those things you've been battling with not only is it going to lift but your mind is getting ready to shift so you get ready to see who you really are in Christ so on the count of three I need you while your hands are lifted to open your mouth and fill this room one, two, three, open your mouth right here 
Come on in here. I said, come on in here, Zion. Lift your voice. Come on. Yeah, I came here because I needed something to be broken. I came in here because I needed to be set free in the room. I said, lift your voice, Zion. Yeah, come on in here. I said, lift your voice. Come on, lift him. I know it's been tough. I know it's been rough. But open your mouth and fill this room. Fill this room. I said, fill this room. Fill this room. We need you. We need you, Jesus. 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 We need you, Jesus.
Come on, Zion, and sit with your hands. The old, I need thee. Woman of God, right here with your hands lifted, can you come to me? Every, yes, ma'am. Every hour I need him. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Savior.
somebody lift your hands right here. I tell you yes. Come on, Todd. I said lift your hands. I tell you yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. you to sing it like it's going to be the thing you live out and not just the thing you say. I tell you, yeah. Come on, I said, push in the room. Tell me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, yeah. Come on, time. I said, push it out in the room. Yeah. else in the room, but he's been real good to me. So he's been real good, real good. He's been real good. Been real good. Been real good. Now watch this. I know everybody can testify to this. I need you to lift your hands right here. This is the story of all of our lives. He brought me out. He brought me out. He said 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 he brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. Everybody in this room. You have got what you needed from God tonight. I need you to open your mouth and fill this tabernacle with the sound that is expressive. That he really brought you out. I said that he really snatched you out. Lift your voice in this room and give him glory. Somebody to give God a praise like you know he brought me out you didn't find God he found you I need you to shout like you believe I was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore somebody shout like he brought you out you to testify to five people said he's gonna bring not just you out but everything connected to you touch five people see everything connected is coming out coming out coming come come out get up get up get up get up out of that grave you're not shouting I'm looking for a testimonial praiser that can give God glory that he brought me out, that's why I give him glory, that's why I lose my mind, that's why I give him praise because he's done enough, he brought me out. The Bible says, oh, the Bible says, the Bible says, because I, I don't want y'all to wait on something and then feel like that's your cue. The Bible says there's these guys named Paul and Silas. They're in prison. 
they're in prison you started talking about what God does in the dark the Bible says that they're in prison and it says and at midnight Paul and Silas begin to pray and say praises unto God then it says and at, at midnight now I don't know if you understand the power and the 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 the, the uh the authority power fragrance uh uh uh, uh ability that the sound of your voice and the intensity of your praise have your praise and the sound of your voice carries this thing called frequency the bible says that they made the conscious decision to open up their mouth and it says and the prisoners heard them I feel like running right here it says and the prisoners heard them they open up their mouth and praise God and those who were not participating heard the frequency of their decision I need somebody for the next 30 seconds to open up your mouth and make the decision that's about to set your entire lineage free you didn't hear what I just said Praise is a decision. God said, tell them if they make the right decision, I'm getting ready to make it easy for you. I'm getting ready to show you. Who you find once God come out, it's getting ready to come out because of your decision. Doors are about to be open. Chains are being broken. Chains are being destroyed to return again somebody open up your mouth and give God a shout he's about to do it in the dark Antoine, you should have never took me there. I heard it again. God said, tell him I'm about to do it in the dark. Now, I know you feel like you need lights to praise God, but can somebody open up your mouth and give God glory in the dark place? I'm not talking about nothing demonic. I'm talking about a setup from God. God's getting ready to do it in the dark. Silas caught a revelation from Genesis but they were in Acts that if God started it in the dark place then that means I have the ability and the authority to shift my current circumstance in the dark place why did I say that you've been waiting on God but God's been waiting on you to open up your mouth I need somebody to make a decision and lose your mouth and give them a shot listening to me maybe you're watching God's getting ready to move in your dark space in your dark place God the spirit of God is about to move where there is no light what you're looking for you are that light open up your mouth and give him a shout he's about to move God's about to move God's about to move Do me a <laughs> Do me a favor I don't want you to touch anybody but find somebody around you that carries the same expectation and excitement and I need you to grab them by the hand and say neighbor I'm getting ready to help you praise God for what hasn't showed up yet because I believe God that eyes have not seen ears have not heard that what's getting ready to show up you ain't never seen nothing like this I don't want you to praise God for you I need you to praise God for the person you're touching. 
I don't know who's Paul. I don't know who's Simon. Good God Almighty. But when I grab your hand, I believe in God that our praise match together is about to break a glass ceiling. Let Katana Yanamasa It's getting ready to break for your favor. I need you to give God glory for what your neighbor just came out. get some lights up in here we almost finished now listen the Bible declares this is not me not you hear me people of God you didn't write the that. Bible declares out of the mouth of two or three witnesses let everything be established now if you're sitting next to somebody 
that don't want to agree with you, you need to get your stuff and move. Because this next season of your life, I'm not being cute. This next season of your life, you can't be around people that's gonna make you, that's gonna make you abandon. Hallelujah, glory to God. What it is that God is doing for you in this season. So if they look like they too cute to speak over your life, then you may need to find somebody else. Because this that I'm getting ready to experience in my life is not for gimmicks or games or cute. So find somebody to ask them real quick, neighbor. Come on now. Ask them, neighbor, are you going to speak with me for what God's getting ready to do? For what God's getting ready to do. If they're not going to agree with you, find you somebody else. Are you, are you, going, are you going to speak with me for what God's about to do? Now, I need you to find somebody that look like they're ready to agree with you. That's getting ready to catapult you into the best season of your life. Ooh, Look ooh. at somebody and tell them, neighbor, neighbor, here's my confession. Here's my confession. My worst days my, whoa, whoa. are behind me. Whoa, whoa. And my best whoa, days whoa, 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 are before whoa, whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, if you believe it, I dare you to put a praise in your feet. I declare praise over this house. If your neighbor not praising with you, move yourself. This ain't a king. Somebody give it praise in the Hey, there you go. There it is. This house was built to praise. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. I say this place was built to praise and miracle. You ain't got no choice but to be delivered. To be. Open up your mouth, put your feet on the floor. To be. I want everybody to go for broke. Everybody give it praise. Some of y'all too busy looking. You need a miracle. Put your feet on the. I don't care if you jump, if you leap, whatever you do. Hey, hey. I believe God. Wait a minute. If the enemy hasn't attacked you or has had nothing to do with trying to come against you, I give you permission to grab your stuff and dot the door. Hey, 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 hey. Ain't nobody move yet. That means we all got an issue with Satan tonight. Well, let me tell you, y'all in the back, look at me. Let me tell you what the Bible declares. I'm gonna tell you one more thing what the word says. The Bible says that your heel shall bruise the enemy's head. Which means God is giving you the authority to give the devil a concussion tonight. And I need every person that want to obey the word of God to take a few moments and put the word into work. I need you to give the devil a black eye. Take the next 15 seconds and I want you to put your back, your foot on the enemy's head. Jump. Leap, I don't care what you do. Do what the Bible says. Let your foot bruise the enemy hand. Somebody do what the word says. I'm waiting on you. Then go back down. You better get the devil. You better praise him. You, there you go right here, brother. You don't you let him stand him. by you yourself. Praise him. You We gotta go. Whoa, we gotta go. Hey, the devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Never, 
devil is a liar. The 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 devil is a liar. God is a judge. God is exalted. 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 He'll never lose a battle. He will never lose a war. And will never be defeated. Never. Never be will never be defeated. Even on your worst day. Said you'll never be defeated. When my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they had to stumble and fall. Because I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Never be defeated.